when Garland called you a bad man in the locker room. <laughs> Just give your overall take on that and kind of what happened in here. Uh, it was crazy here. They sprayed me with water and uh, sprayed coach with water, all type of stuff. Uh, like I said, just a, it was a big game, and you know, just I was I was on today. You know what I'm saying? I was on in, in a lot of ways, made a lot of plays. So you know, you gotta give credit where credit's due, I guess. Uh, it was crazy. Uh, the crowd was loud. Everybody felt it. The bench was going crazy. Like you just you know when you hit a you hit a big shot. You know what I'm saying? So that that's that's huge. Uh, you know, it's one of those shots that kind of bring a lot of momentum. You know what I'm saying? If, if, it, it was just a three, but it might feel like five or six points just because of how the crowd was going and things like that. I couldn't hear. Like, I couldn't hear at all. I never thought the Brazen could ever get that loud, like, ever get that loud. But just the fan, the fans gave us another energy boost, and the atmosphere was just amazing. What did that feel like when you were on that roll? Was that one of your highest moments for a home game here? Uh, you, you were pretty exuberant. You, you keep it buckled down. It's usually pretty yeah, good. Yeah. But it looked like you kind of were letting it shine a little Yeah, hard. definitely. I felt, I felt like I was, you know, getting it going. Uh, and, you know what I'm saying, I just didn't want to be to myself. You know what I'm saying? You do all that to kind of bring your teammates with you, bring the crowd with you. You know, all those the added factors to kind of help you win the game. So you kind of want to, you know, show that excitement. You know what I'm saying? 3 2 and 9, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what to call that one. That, that was different. I'd say very different, you know. I just in the, in the position I am on offense and just watching him do the things he does, you just watch him get to the basket and you watch him shoot the shot. And then you just get back on defense like, oh my God, he just did that. Like, that's crazy. Like, you, when you hit that three when, when Juwan got the tackle, did you? Know what was going on there? Did you see the look yeah. back and see I, I, no, I knew the play was dead because I heard the whistle. Okay. So I kind of just shot it just because. Like I was gonna shoot it regardless, but I kind of fell down because I heard the whistle. So I just kind of. Like, you were laughing. At that yeah, like it was, I was having fun. Like I knew that one hurt. Like I knew the crowd was going crazy. Uh, I mean, it was a lot of fun. Like I just had that, a good time. That seemed like a momentum moment. Oh yeah, that would have hurt. That would have been crucial if they would have let me get that one. That definitely would have hurt him. But he, you know what I'm saying? Good coaching. You know what I'm saying? He stopped the play. Got the got the tech. Stopped the play. Everything. And it seemed like you and Tillman had were in sync a lot of parts of the game, giving assists. How do you guys work together on the court? It's just grown over the years. Just kind of learning each other, talking in practice, uh, talking during the game, telling each other what we see, uh, different type of reads that we see and stuff like that. Uh, and we trust each other. You know what I'm saying? I trust what he has to say. He trusts what I have to say, and we kind of just adjust like that. Hey, uh, I, I would hate to guard him. I would hate to guard our pick and roll, honestly, just because he can see everything. So if a guy cuts to the basket and the defense is sleeping, he can see that. He'll notice that, or he'll see me half a second late on the lob where the defense is now focused on him, and I'm cutting behind everybody. He sees that. So uh, he was dominant today. Yeah, I feel like Xavier was everywhere on the floor tonight, uh, helping, rebounding, blocking, hitting shots. They're so just playing hard, uh, like a man that's trying to win. And you know that's what that's what you got to do each and every night. It wasn't as much. Trapping, you know what I'm saying? They kind of uh, did a little shack in. I was able to kind of dribble, you know, make some plays that way. They switched up in the uh, second half a little bit, I believe. But also, uh, we were out in transition, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we were able to get stops, get out in transition. And from there, it's kind of hard to load up. It just take time for guys to learn their roles, learn how to play with different guys, all that type of stuff kind of takes time. And you kind of feel it meshing together. You know, you see guys like Henny playing better, Gay playing better, X start to come around in his new role, all type of things. You just got to see guys moving better and playing together. Just, I'm just proud of, of what the things he's been through, the things, the challenges that, that he's facing on an everyday basis. I mean, for him to go out there and perform the way he does, I mean, what, what can't you not like? I mean, that's a guy that, that wants to win. He wants to be there for his teammates and things like that. So I'm just proud of him. What is it about them that they do defensively, or what is it about this game that you just seem to play your best basketball? Uh, just, I don't know. I guess all the things, you know what I'm saying? It's Michigan. It's a rivalry. Uh, so if they're usually a good team, you know what I'm saying, like a high-ranked team, and that, that makes it more fun. Uh, just you know, it's always a lot riding on the game for some reason. You know, I, I love big games, uh, so as, as I go out there trying to play to my best. Izzo said he challenged some of you guys at halftime to challenge others and to hold others accountable. Were you one of those guys that he challenged to bring others along? And, yeah, definitely. And who did you who did you try to bring along at halftime? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, definitely, it was uh, Marky was the one that we kind of had to uh, bring along. Uh, he had. A couple of balls that were tipped out that should have been rebounds. A couple of plays that he kind of gave up that we seen him, you know, do before. So it's kind of unacceptable, and it was our job to kind of get him going. And you know, he had a much, much better second half. You taking some more steps in that regard of being his sergeant a little bit? Yeah, definitely. Just being a 
leader on this team, vocal leader. Uh, even if I got to get after guys and stuff like that, just been getting better and better at it. I mean, we're not, we're not going to be satisfied about being 4-0 in the Big Ten because at any moment something can happen. So we just want to get better each, each and every day and just be pushed every day.